power bag, totally standing with. You see the top of it, lean the top forward a little bit. There's no chains or anything, it's just a Velcro zipper across the top. Right there, that we, we've got a zipper underneath Velcro, so we can do a lot of different exercises with it. So we're gonna start with squats. So you just, I want you to do a lap, I want you to do three and three and three. Three and three, okay. So it's the effort of cleaning it. And we'll follow it for just a couple of these and then come back to the next exercise. back when we do the bench. Now we're going to do the bench press. So we're going to pick it up. On the side or? Under, underneath. So you, you can grab by the side handles. We're going to do it underneath. So you got to balance it. You can see how hard this is. This is about an 80 pound bag. So we, we're going to be making a lot heavier if we can. Right for 10. Do our shoulder clean next. We're going to do five to the left shoulder, five to the right shoulder. So he's just going to pick this thing up and clean it to his to his shoulders. Set it back down. Don't have to sit all the way down. Just slide through. Remember what we did before? Just down and up. There you go. Don't set it all the way down. Nope. Don't set it all the way down. Just swing it down and bring it back up. Yep. Get your hand underneath, I want you hugging it. Other side. One more. Good. Now I want you to do the arm roll. Okay. This is an upper back and bicep. Just slide his hands underneath. He's going to roll it down as far as he can without losing it. And then all the way up and down. Try for 12. One more. One more. Oh, that's good right there. Ten clean and presses. You can grab it any way you want. I really don't care. So you're using the handles on the side. I could make it harder to make them not use the handles or to make them use the, the just the bag. All the way down. Yep, all the way down. Oh. And that's what happens. Why it's such a great workout? Because you can lose it that quick. Especially when you get fatigued. Let's go one more. I'm going to let you off a little easier here. It's a little heavier than we thought. Good. All right, the next exercise he's going to do is he's going to pick the bag up. He's going to sit down with the bag and get back up here, picking the bag up with him every time he gets up. Any which way? Any which way. So if 
I sit like this? Yep. And you have to you and the bag have to get up together. You can touch the ground or not? You can, yeah. Back down. Back down. One more. I'm going to take a little break here. Oh, well, it was a weak one, but we'll let him have it. <laughs> That's the versatility of this bag. Put over his back. Again. Keep it going. Okay, now I want you to pick it up, get it up here, and push it with both hands out, a front throw. So hold it straight up or sideways? Uh, get it up sideways. Can't throw it with the hand, can't throw it with the handle though, you gotta use it. Okay. So just get it, your hands underneath it, throw it as far as you can throw it. Pick it up, do it again. Now he's going to pick it up from the side. Get your other hand underneath. Yep, just like that. Throw it. Again. Again. Good. What you do now is just a press. He's going to get it up to his chest and he's going to press it five times. Alright, good. A yeah, mini duck walk is a very difficult exercise. So you're gonna get the bag over here where you get a good start. One shoulder or both? Over across both shoulders. Okay. Bend down and walk. Good. Back? Yes.
So he's gonna, he's gonna he's gonna pick this bag up any way he wants to. He's gonna press it. Then he's gonna bring it down to his waist. Walk two steps. And he's gonna walk two steps. Set it down. Pick it back up. Up. Oh, you gotta touch it to the floor. Don't touch the floor. Your next one, the bag has to touch the floor. Okay. We'll let you do three steps. We'll let the bag touch the floor. Here? Yep. And walk with it. Pick it up, press it, walk three steps, set it back down. Press it, bring it back down to your chest, walk three steps. Set it down. Pick it up. You can pick it up for you. You already, you already did a set down. You can do it first. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right, good. Set it down. So this is, yep. And then walk up, take it back, then step it out. This way, Andy. Hi. I'm uh, taping a bag workout. I got my punching bag back. Why? Cool. Well, then we might go to three foot. Okay, now see that. So yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. Well, good. And we, you know, once we get the cuts in there to put the bands in and stuff, you know, we can go with the bigger prototype too, because we just say we're going to make it smaller if, if we need to, but, you know, we'll see what we can do with that. And, uh, huh. How come? Mm hmm Good, now let's do some flip through throws where you swing it through and then throw it at, after the swing through. Okay. So you're going to swing it through and throw it. Like that? Yep. Again, get it, pick it up. Bring it through the other side. Throw it. Let's have a weak throw there. That came back at you almost. Power it. There you go. Good job. Good. Pull the throw when we did 
when we first discovered this thing, when we finally tried to figure out a way to keep them breaking it, we kept breaking them all the time. Like this? Yep. Get some distance on it. Try to throw it out this way. Okay. Give me some distance. Use your legs. There, that's what I want. That's what we're looking at. Left side. You see how fatiguing this is? This is a light bag. We we're hoping to go a lot heavier with these bags, up to 200 pounds. This is probably weighs about 75 to 80 pounds. All right, okay, Mike, this is a uh, Skyhook Gravity Boots. This is what it looks like. I have some modifications I can make to it. I like to make the pads thicker, padding on the, on the uh, foot cups, and I like to make the foot cups that the rear feet go into a little longer. But I'm going to have Tony show you some exercises on here. So here we go. Let's go put it up. Now he needs a regular pull up bar. Slides it up there. We'll start with sit ups. Just slide your feet right in. So it holds them. And you do sit ups. Now he's going to do knee ups. This is just from the waist. So he's going to just squeeze. This is like an accordion trying to pull himself up. So he's doing a reverse squat. And the last thing he's going to do is he's going to pull the top of his feet towards him. And he's going to work the front of his calves doing that. So he pulls them and lets it go. And he does it again. This is a tremendous workout. You want to see how it looks like the face end of it. That's how tough it is. So that's what the sky boot is. As you see, it actually says sky hook system on it. So I'm going to have Tony jump out of there. And uh, you see, what, hold it right like that. And I'm going to zoom in here. You see where it says. Sky hook, but I have not been able to ever find another pair of those. And uh, they just bolted in here. They have different adjustments for different heights. So that's what it is.